alive. Hello, and welcome back to Stardew Valley with Maddie. How you doing, Maddie? Yay, I'm good. Good, I'm good. Just failing to get into the right place. <laughs> <laughs> um, before we start, we've got a bit of news. Um, we got our first ever cash donation from Steltech. He donated £50. Pounds. Oh my god! I know. I'm gonna play the notification again because he donated Thanks when he wasn't when we went on. Uh, the robot spoke. It's the first time I've heard that as well. Um, he said, "Thanks for all the laughs." So thank you very much, Steltech. That's absolutely wonderful. Um, helping support the stream, helping pay off all of the debt I went into for this computer. <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> thank you very much. That's absolutely lovely of you. Um, That's amazing. Sam says, "You're early. Why? There's two types of viewers." <laughs> <laughs> because. Because Sam, um, I'm playing. <laughs> um, yeah, that's right. It, it is it is better than a sub um, because it I do get the hot most of it basically that way. So thank you very much, Steltech. Um, but I love all of you as well, but Steltech the most because he's yeah. a VIP. Um, um, yeah, the 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 um, the bot is. The bot says USD because by default it just says USD and then a number, and I haven't changed oh. it yet. It doesn't know what you spent; it just knows the number. <laughs> so, um, so that will I will sort that out at some point because no one's ever donated before. I didn't know that it did that. <laughs> so there we go. Um, but thank you. Um, anyway, back to the farm. So what will we do? We're we're most of the way through summer. These are all are these all melons here that we've got. Uh, probably. Sorry, I am just um, thought I should have the stream up as well. You probably should, yeah, so you can see all the lovely chat. Um, we're building something. Uh, yeah, we're building a barn, aren't we? I, I thought it was a barn, but you never know. <laughs> uh, and I got an, a letter from Demetrius. Dear Pete Hand, I was conducting a field study the other day and I found this specimen. I hope you find it as interesting as I did, Demetrius. And he sent me a rainbow shell. Oh, is that useful Ooh. for any anything? I mean, everyone likes to receive it. I would keep it. Okay, I'll put it in this box. Once we've dealt with the battery thing, it might be something you might need. My bag is so full of crap. <laughs> it's just full of fish and <laughs> and uh, and various objects. And I... he has a very large. Thanks penis. for subbing, Sam. Uh, two months sub. Um, thank you very much. Um, yeah, I've got loads of fish, and I can't remember what I was doing with it, whether I was planning on selling the fish or... You were trying to catch something. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was it. Yeah, we got loads of... We got most of the stuff for various different bund bundles, didn't we? Um, yeah. Oh, God, we should play this more often. <laughs> I, I think that's why we were growing we all the wheat. Uh, we were doing something with yes. all this wheat. Yes. Is it done? Yeah. Yes, we have to scythe it. Okay, I'll start scything all the wheat. Because that sounds really fun. Yeah. Um. Oh, I've got my scythe on me. So I'll I'll grab all the fish after this. Oh yeah, we needed like fifty wheat, didn't we? That was it. That one of the bundles has like a ton and a ton of wheat. It's not that it has a ton of wheat, it just it'll only stack if they're the same quality. So I think you only need like ten, but everything's coming out a different quality. Okay, well I've got loads of wheat now. Um I will I will I will grab all the fish that we had. <coughs> oh dogs entered the stream. Um he tells the girl that he has a very large penis. Ah, oh, Sam, thank you for gifting the sub. Dominic, that's very lovely of you. Um, uh, right, I'll go and I'll head over and I will pop all the pop all the stuff in the bundles that we can. Woo! Um, yeah, I think it's the animal bundle that needs the wheat. Do very, we want to grow anything else? Do we want to grow anything else? Well, how long have we got left? We've got this. Is there thirty days or twenty-eight days in a month? I feel like it's 28. So we've got eight, six days left. <laughs> eight, six, six days left. Um, Good maths. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> um, oh, my inventory's full. Um, 
So, uh, I guess... <laughs> Sorry, Sam. Thank you very much. <laughs> you, are, you are the bedrock of this stream, Sam. Yeah. I always forget that Sam needs an extra special thank you. <laughs> um, that he means is... he's giving Dominic free subs. I mean... I know. Sam, Sam, Sam and Steltek are legit the most generous viewers that we have. But um, Sam, Sam doesn't need a sub. He can pay his own way. <laughs> Sam doesn't need his own sub. No, Dom doesn't need his own sub. He can pay his own Shush. way. Shush. <laughs> Sam's being generous. Praise Sam. <laughs> <laughs> Is he our deity now? Praise be to Sam. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Dominic just says, I don't want this. <laughs> I'll take it. Uh, <laughs> I'll have it instead. Thank you very much for your kindness, Dom. <laughs> oh. Sadly, I don't think you can re-gift subs. No, I don't so think that's how it works. <laughs> no. Dom Dominic will have to be a sub for the rest of the month. <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> I like Sam says, Dom is a sub in all aspects of life. <laughs> I mean, I quite like the sandwiches. Demetrius was just staring at a patch of dirt and then he said, sorry, I can't talk. I've, I've got too many plants to study. <laughs> <laughs> there like, could be something in the dirt, you don't know. That's yeah, true. Really but complex dirt. I think he just didn't want to talk to me. <laughs> Um, Dom, you, you should just stay. You've already, it's already happened. Yeah, you've already committed this much. You might as well go whole hog. And, you know, we're already invested in your storyline, so... Yeah. Will you stay? Will you not stay? Will you love us? It's mm -hmm. just... It's complex. You have committed nothing. You've committed many sins, my friends. <laughs> <laughs> many awful sins. <laughs> Uh, right, I put in a bunch of fish. That was it. I was one fish short of one of the bundles. Um, where does the... Uh, you want to throw up? You don't feel well. well throw, oh. throw up among friends. Oh, we're, we're here for you, friend. Where is the... Where does the wheat go? Animal. Animal? Yeah. No, it doesn't go in animal. Because it doesn't come from an animal. <laughs> uh, on the bulletin board, the... Ah, money. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Um... I feel like... Did we put something in to get upgraded, or was that a while ago? Um, what if I've got a copper axe. You've got a copper watering can, right? Yeah. I think that's Maybe all we've we done. Oh, that was it. I wanted to put my axe in so we could get um, yes bigger stumps. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that's what it is. I want the big stumps. The big stumps. You went robot stumps. for me at the same time. It was like, a big stumps. <laughs> oh, yeah. I was going to tell you a story about a dog. Um, yes. So, uh, when you you mentioned this was before the stream was on, but Maddie was talking about her dog making noises. So, um, at work, my boss has is looking after his neighbour's dog, and uh, she's away or something. So, and as part of this, he has to have the dog in the office because um, the because the dog is looking after, and this mm -hmm. dog does. I don't know what the dog is eating, but the dog does farts that can clear rooms, <laughs> and it's just in—it's intense, right? It, it is genuinely some of the worst smell I've ever smelled, and it lasts for so long. Oh my god! Like, like, I mean, think about motivating your employees. This is like whatever the opposite is of that—to <laughs> like, make them leave. There, there was a bit the other day where I had like <clears throat> quite a lot I had to get done. And then mm -hmm. the dog just walks into the room and just like a room full of maybe oh, five, wow. I think five, five of us were in that room and he guffed and all of us were just like, I guess it's time to get a coffee. Oh. I, I guess it's time to go. <clears throat> I think Can you imagine in... if he just really wants to be your friend? Is he friendly? Well, so um, our office is behind. Yeah, he is quite friendly. Um, and as an example of this, our office is behind uh, an Indian restaurant and so the dog just scooted in the kitchen 
<laughs> just like went to went through the open door started hanging out in the in the kitchen of the oh of the chinese restaurant <laughs> oh it's like hi everybody <laughs> hey <laughs> you smell good no no um he's lovely though oh. there's another dog henry which comes around. I'm, I've just been wandering aimlessly. I <clears throat> I haven't really been thinking about what I'm doing. Um, I, I'll when tomorrow in the day I will take some iron and I'll go get my axe upgraded. Or can we? We afford need it? to have made enough money. Yeah. Yeah, I probably can't afford it. Um, did you sell all the wheat that was spare? Uh, no, I could do that now. Um, oh, there's mushrooms as well. I keep forgetting about the bloody mushrooms. Yeah, yeah. sorry. There's another dog. Uh, yeah, there's another dog called Henry, and he's lovely. Um, and, no. and he, uh, one of my co-workers, he got him um, like relatively recently, and so we've seen him grow. Mm. And and he, because uh, obviously he has to, he brings him into work in the day because he can't be at home on his own. And um, and he's like a little, I don't know breeds of dogs very well, but he's like, he has like his own little bag that he gets carried around in like specially designed for him it's not like you put him oh, in your backpack wow. he has like his own okay. like ba train bag that he lives in and um and so he just sort of like has a sleep on the train and and like and then has like a wander around the office and he's lovely he doesn't guff oh um, man i wish my dog was that chill <laughs> well he's sometimes he's not very chill but he's also not big enough to like cause a problem cause not problem. being chill uh, yeah so he's he's yeah he's he's lovely yeah we often joke in the office about me bringing my dog in because he came to like sometimes once a month we do like group lunches mm. and he came to one of those and he was small enough to sit on my lap and even then he was a menace <laughs> I can just imagine him coming into work and being like, "Hi, everyone, let me eat you." <laughs> well, this is the thing about dogs: is that like, I'm not bothered by dogs. I don't mind them being in the office, but they can be like super disruptive if they choose to be. <laughs> they can be like, "I'm just gonna fuck shit up." Like, <laughs> yeah, well, for no good reason. <laughs> they are a dog, so <laughs> right. Uh, right. So that's their main objective. Fucking shit up. What is our fortune today? They're in good humour. So if we oh, run out of things to do, we, we also have chaos. enough money. Yes. All right. I'll go. Oh no, I can't yet. I'll, I'll help water the plants and then I'll go. Your dogs agreeing with my plan for the day. <laughs> yeah, that's what's happening. <laughs> I've not put him in the hallway and then he's seen someone on the street and he's just gone. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I love you, mate. We should get a pet tarantula for the office. That's a good idea, yeah. StarTech. I'm sure everyone will love that. <laughs> then you should get rats. <laughs> yep. An another pet that would be great for an office. <laughs> Especially next door to a restaurant. I think a cat would be good for an office. I do too. I think office cats are the way forward. Yeah. I think all offices should have a cat. Mm hmm There's a, a cat cafe near my work. Mm. And they're all rescue cats, so they're all just, like, a bit random. Like, they're <laughs> not, like, little kittens that are, like, really excited to see you. They're quite like, will you just go away? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, you're paying to be ignored. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the true cat experience. <laughs> that's it's got one of those running wheels as well. Do Have any of them those? actually run on it? Or yes. They just... <laughs> yes, they do. Oh, well, good. Well, we've got nothing else to do. Are the humans? No. I mean, cats seem to just be fine with just doing nothing anyway. Like, that's fine for them. <gasps> yeah. Oh, man. But yeah, office cats, I think, are the way forward. I think our office would benefit from a cat. I think I think my workload or my work done might go down a bit, but my job satisfaction would go up massively. And yeah. I think that's important. <laughs> I feel like it's like uh, I can't remember where I heard it, but Google offers their employees dinner if they work after like half six or something. So everyone stays to get free dinner. It's just so clever. It's like, 
Yeah, of course you would stay for free dinner. Well, I mean, it kind of makes work your life. That's also the point, isn't it? Yeah. You'll I, be here forever. I don't really want that. <laughs> I mean, that doesn't sound good. Yeah. Oh, the barn's built. Ooh. That was too much excitement. I'm, I apologise. <laughs> that's, that's just the right amount of excitement. Um... Right, I'm gonna go get my axe upgraded. Um, okay. I need uh, iron. Do you want to go into the mines afterwards? Uh, yeah, I'm quite low on energy, so I'll go to the uh, the sauna first. Cool. I've also got a corn to pop in, pop in the bundle. Nice. I guess corn are a two-season crop. Yeah, they are. Full. Yeah. Uh, going to get me a special axe. Oh, yeah. Hey, Lewis. We're both too busy for stories right now. Okay, Lewis. No one really wants to talk to me. <laughs> no, I just spoke to um Shane, and he just said, no, go away. I was like, oh, oh okay. <laughs> Steel axe. Five iron bars and five grand. There we go. I'm assuming we can't afford a cow. I feel like a cow is... Uh, I don't know. When all those melons come through, we'll be able to afford a cow. They'll all be doing their stupid exercise now anyway. Yeah, let's just go. I'm going to go to the sauna and then we'll go into the mines for a bit. Yeah. Woohoo! We should be upgrading a pickaxe as well. Yeah. Do you want Next a, time. Do you want a fancy pickaxe? I mean, we just share it anyway. It's... Uh, yeah, I know, but like, I've got the, I've got, I'm gonna have the second, second or well, third level axe, and you've got a second level. We're like alternating who upgrades things, right? So. Yeah. So you'd be next, so you can have the pickaxe if you want. Eventually okay. we'll have them all, but obviously we've got to alternate. Um... Off to the sauna I go. Go and get recharged. <laughs> I hate how slowly you walk like into the swimming pool. Like It makes total sense, but it's like, come on, move. Yeah, I just feel like I'm wasting so much time slowly strolling into a sauna. <sighs> so you remember I told you about that um, Scientology podcast I listened to? Oh, yeah. I know Ross and Kerry. Mm -hmm. Well, it's not actually a Scientology podcast. It's a podcast about pseudoscience, but they go and do the things to like find out what it's like to do them. So mm -hmm. they became Scientologists for a bit. So I listened to another episode fairly recently, or like a two-parter, which was about um, ex-gay therapy. So oh, yeah, so <clears throat> yeah, so like, so like, yeah, like making people ex-gay kind of thing. And it it wasn't actually the therapy itself; it was a conference about it, and so it was it was not at all attended by any gay people. <laughs> it mm -hmm. was it was entirely attended by. Uh, uh, upset family members. Oh, I'm at the mine, by the way. Um, yeah, me too. Oh, cool. Um, and uh, are you already in the mine? Yeah, just oh. smashing. I went. I forgot to go into the lift. I went just straight to the to the ladder. Oh, hello. Um, and so they were talk. There was a, a talk about um, on the first episode. They were, there was a talk Whoa. about um, someone who was supposedly ex-gay, and that was. Like, just really kind of sad. It was a guy who uh, was clearly sort of figuring out his his sexual orientation. Eventually, ended up landing on being straight, but then believed that God had made him that way and was advocating oh. it for other people. So it's the kind of thing. It was like I could see how you got to this conclusion, and if you weren't part of this group, you'd probably just assume, "Oh, I tried it, and in the end, I decided I'd rather just be with a woman." But that's not really how he interpreted it. But mm -hmm. the second talk 
which was the really funny bit, was the science behind being gay, <laughs> oh. which was just incredible. So you, you've you done a bit of biology in your time. You, you, yeah. you're, you're a biology person. Um, if I were to tell you that the, er, the eroticism was stored in the lymph nodes, <laughs> would you say that that is accurate? <laughs> No. <laughs> well, apparently. I'm pretty sure it's uh, white blood cells. <laughs> no, nope, it's eroticism. <laughs> okay. and, um, your lymph nodes, they get all full up of er eroticism and you just can't stop being gay. Um, and so they talked about like sort of the mechanics of being gay, like how you, ha like what's happening how, in your body. When how you're to gay. be gay or? <laughs> just like w what, what biologically makes you gay. Apparently it's eroticization in the lymph nodes but also they talked about like so no one's like gay from birth apparently they sort of become gay over like through various things that happen to them in their life um so i'm gonna i'm gonna pose you a situation um, okay and you tell me uh what what in this situation would make a, your child gay Okay. okay. So, so you're a, you're a single mother, right? Yeah. And you. I like that. I was just like, yeah, straight away. Uh, yeah. Sure. <laughs> yeah. Sounds sounds accurate. <laughs> um, and uh, so you're a single mother, and yeah. you um, you are your child is playing a uh, ten pin, like ten pin bowls in your living room. And, okay. And he. Oh, by the way, pretty much all of this was focused on boys. The of the, the fact of lesbianism seems to sort of escape them. Um, yeah. So your boy is playing ten pin in the living room, and he decides to knock over all the pins, right? Because he's a kid. And he does that. Yeah, that sounds the most fun. Yeah. So you come in. I found the ladder. Um, you come in, and you either tell him. Uh, that's okay. It's all right that you knocked over the pins. That's fine. Kids will be kids. Mm -hmm. Or you tell him, uh, we don't knock things over in this house. Could you please pick up the pins? Which of those two things would make him gay? I'm assuming from the... From the... On oh, my own prejudice, the first one? You're saying but that just... Just letting him let it just say it's okay. Man. That would yeah. turn him gay. In fact, it's the other one. It's being assertive with him. Can oh. You, can you guess why? Because I'm a woman. Kind of. And, and that's the male dominant role, and so you're seeing women as that. Uh, you're basically on the same on the right lines, but sort of totally opposite, totally backwards. <laughs> okay. Right? So basically, uh. Apparently, boys turn gay because they are searching for a masculine influence, right? And the closest you can be to another man is, or to masculinity is inside of another man, <laughs> apparently. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, and so, um, I think we found the ladder, didn't we? To bring? I haven't seen it. Yeah, it's up here. Oh. Um, <laughs> I was just wondering where we were wandering around, just... Smashing random rocks. Because uh, we're chatting and not paying attention. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, so the closest you can be to masculinity is inside of another man. Um, okay. And supposedly, men are sort of more laissez-faire, like, eh, you know, boys will be boys kind of thing. And if single mothers don't give a masculine influence, then uh, their kids will turn out gay. And punishing them is a feminine influence whereas just letting them get on with it is a masculine influence so you've got to kind of let them get on with stuff so they don't be gay i mean when i think of like oh shit that's gonna kill me because i want no energy uh, might get out of the mind i'll just hang around near you okay when i think about like strong disciplinarians i'm not sure i picture a woman yeah, that's my own gender bias. Like, I, but I've... I think I think the assumption is that like men. Oh no, I'm gonna die! It's men... gonna kill me. <laughs> <laughs> run away! No, not again! <laughs> I've run away. Okay, get out of here. I'm gonna come as well because I've got barely any health. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Um, oh no. <laughs> I think the assumption is that like men have this like men will be men, they do whatever they want kind of attitude, and that they foster that in their kids, and that women don't like women are like 
I guess this is probably coming from this guy's own biases, but he's like, women are always telling me to pick my shit up. And, <laughs> and men have never told me to do that kind of thing. Right. It's, like a, it's like the Marge Simpson complex that um, all, like, women are seen as, like, naggy housewives a lot yeah. in sort of, like, TV and stuff. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's exactly that, I think. Um, yeah, it was weird. They were also talking about how, like, um, if your boy has posters of like boys should have posters of men they admire when they're young um like wrestlers and stuff like that but when they go through puberty and i think he gave a specific age i think he was like when they hit 13 they must have fo- pictures of women on their walls and if they <gasps> don't have pictures of sexy women they're probably gay like oh. they, they, if they hit 13 they hit their 13th birthday if they don't rip down those posters they've had on their walls like for their, their entire, entire life, lives. then then they're probably gay. That's mad. I know, right? It's absolutely ridiculous. Celtic and also says, to set uh, a proper age. Sorry. Celtic says I recently read of a doctor in quotes that proclaimed being gay came from an and I quote anal worm <laughs> that feeds on semen and that she could cure that. <laughs> well, oh boy. <laughs> oh wow. Oh boy. But the fact that, that, that the fact that there's like so many different types of this, like so many different things yeah. they think cause it, just, should just show you that it's bullshit, right? <laughs> like, and it's the just... kind of people you want to explain causality and association to. Like, yeah. you can associate two things together, but that doesn't mean they cause each other. <laughs> yes, exactly. All spirits are in good humor. Um, yeah, exactly. It's it's. I mean, they talk about that a lot in the podcast, but they talk about this fact that like they would just state studies just constantly that but like totally misrepresent everything Aww. about them um which obviously it i think it's less dangerous at one of those conferences because everyone in there is basically they're basically preaching to the converted i doubt anyone yeah. in there is going to be like i was anti-x gay but i turned up and and you <laughs> They've got some really interesting science. <laughs> oh, there was another thing as well, which I found really funny, which was um, that uh, uh, Carrie bought a DVD um, called Out of Egypt, A Woman's Journey Out of Lesbianism, <laughs> which I thought was just a fantastically dramatic sto- uh, title. <laughs> out of Egypt, Egypt, One Woman's Journey Out of Lesbianism. <laughs> oh. Uh, wow. I don't really know what the out of Egypt part of it means, but but uh, it's quite dramatic. I mean, they were all a bit freer back then, weren't they? The Romans and the Egyptians. They just didn't give as much of a shit. Were the Egyptians like that? I don't know. I see Cleopatra is quite powerful. Maybe that's my own. But then I don't know about lesbianism. Yeah. It should have been called Escaping Cleopatra. <laughs> woman's journey out of lesbianism. <laughs> uh, that podcast is really good. Some of the stuff that they talk about. They went to a, a conference called Amazing Facts, which turned out to be run by Seven Day Adventists. The story. Oh, good. Like Ross got like a, <laughs> the beginning of the podcast. He tells the story of this. This this stream is just going to be me recounting episodes of Owner Ross and Kerry. But um, the, the 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 podcast begins with him. Um, talking about how he found out about it and they said his wife sheepishly came up to him with a flyer and it was this like ridiculous flyer that had like uh like the mark of the beast and like uh, like 666 and stuff like this and and apocalyptic earth stuff and it was like find out about the mark of the beast and everything and um and it was um uh, and his wife was like i was gonna throw this out but i thought you might want to see it (laughs) And he was like, <laughs> I absolutely want to see this. And she was like, okay. Uh, <laughs> HG. Um, and uh, um, uh, what was I going to say about that? About um, amazing facts. Um, oh, it, yeah. But like, it was, it was just another like ridiculous thing. They were, they were, oh, that was it. They were talking about, they, they, they were given a Bible and it had like a burning earth on the front of it oh. and like like all this apocalyptic imagery and they were like this was the coolest fucking bible i've ever <laughs> seen like <laughs> I don't know. 
I don't think that was quite the reaction they were going for. <laughs> yeah, probably. But that was really cool because they got the guy who gave the talk, um, David something, they got him to come on the podcast. Oh. And so there's an episode. Well, that's really where, cool. and, and he had listened to all the episodes they'd done about their talk, about the talks. And he had like a, a crystal clear memory of everything they'd said. So he was like being like, what did you mean by this? What did you mean when you called me kooky? And things like that. Um, and uh, but yeah, like I was like, fair play to the guy. The ball's on him to yeah. go on the podcast that basically... They're, they're quite respectful, but there is sort of an element of humour as well. And if you, yeah. like... Yeah, otherwise listen... it wouldn't be entertaining. Yeah, and you just listen to a podcast that basically sort of, like, lightly made fun of your entire belief system. And, uh, yeah, fair play to the guy. I guess you have to be really strong in that belief system. Yeah, and he was. He was... And that was one of the less dangerous ones. It wasn't like Scientology or anything. It was... Yeah. They were basically like, you should uh, not work on Saturdays. Like, oh, and the end time is coming within our lifetimes, but you know, it's cool. Yeah, climate change told us that. It's fine. Oh, we got some resin. Yes, I just got it. Cool. I'll go okay. pop it in a bundle. There's none left in the other ones, are there? No. Did he bring forth the banana as proof that God exists? They <sighs> did. They did not believe in evolution, and they gave the old like uh, hurricane. Um, blows by and fully assembles an airplane argument. Have you heard that one? Uh, no. It's like um, an argument against evolution where they're like um, like an airplane so perfectly designed but the argument for evolution is like a hurricane blows by and perfectly assembles an airplane and uh, obviously anyone who's rational goes that's uh... absolutely not how evolution works at all. But, I uh, see. It didn't happen overnight. Um, or in the course of a hurricane, <laughs> so like yeah. um, that's weird. Yeah, um, yeah. It's so weird that people like can have such a different opinion. Like, I got the uh, Brexit party flyer in the post, and I didn't even think about it. I just picked it up and immediately ripped it up. I didn't even like process what I was doing. Yeah. I was like, I didn't know I felt so strongly. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah, I, I always, I always, um, oh, we finished the exotic foraging bundle. Um, I always used to read the, um, like the, uh, oh, we got five autumn bounty. Um, really, really good food. Um, uh, I, I always used to read the BMP section in the London Mayor votes because uh -huh. what I liked to do was see what they thought would appeal to people who aren't racists. Um, so I, I, there was like um, the BMP one was like a bunch of like you know borderline racist stuff not putting this straight up racist stuff in the manifesto and then underneath that free tube channel travel on weekends and I was like <laughs> you're pretty sure you're not getting in aren't you <laughs> yeah that's, uh, a, that's a no promise mm, that's a mm, I, I just like the idea of someone going well I mean I'm I'm not a racist, and I disagree with the BMP on pretty much everything. But free tube travel on weekends. <laughs> who doesn't want? Who doesn't want to get around the city? Uh, so we have enough money for a cow. Cool. We uh, want a cow. Uh, yeah. Uh, names in the chat for what you want to name the cow. Um, it's otherwise... a white cow, if that makes any difference. But... Uh, Nigel Farage would love it. <laughs> We don't see colour on the channel. Should we name the cow Nigel Farage? <laughs> <laughs> oh no, Go we've, we've got a name. It's Bow Chicka Bow Cow. <laughs> <laughs> Bow. I'm not sure. I might have to get rid of the spaces. That's okay. Bow Chicka. I think it would probably look better without the spaces. Bow Chicka. Bow. Okay, it only fits Bow Chicka Bow. So you can have bow chicka cow. Bow chicka cow. Oh, that's good. Yeah, let's go for bow chicka cow. <laughs> Great. I'll send little bow chicka cow to her new home right away. <laughs> yes. Hello, bow chicka cow. <laughs> <laughs> bow chicka cow. Oh, uh, Steltex says Cowabunga for the next one. Okay. Try and remember that. 
They're only 1,500, so... Cool. Yeah, we'll probably get another one before the end of the stream. So we'll, we'll name yeah. it Cow Cowabunga. Cowabunga. <laughs> um, Stu says it's a furry disguised as a cow. <laughs> 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 Milk me. Did you just speak English? Moo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I'd like to not live in the barn next to... Yeah, I'd like you... to not live in the cabin next to the barn, please. This <laughs> I'm cow. afraid. This cow's only got one udder. And it's right at the back. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> uh, what was I going to do with the rest of my day? Oh, we'll need a bucket to milk the cow. Uh, how do we get a bucket? We buy it from what's her face, but. Marnie. The cow's a baby right now, so it's okay. <laughs> a bit early for milking. It's yeah, uh, not, maybe, not now. Maybe just a tad. Um, is there anything? Let's put some copper on. Why not? Copper. So we need we need a bit more of a we need a we need a plan. What do, what do we want to do? Uh, we've got four days left of summer. So there's nothing summer based we can do. No. Um, quality crops. We've done all the quality crops for now. Um, so next in in autumn we need to. Uh, put down a bunch of fertilizer under some pumpkins and corn to just guarantee we get those out and then we can knock out quality crops okay um we oh, should, good. yeah we should also uh, there's no beer in artisan bundle is there no but pam wants it okay uh we get, we're gonna get milk from the cow um uh, and then we either need we need ducks we need two out of duck sheep and a goat um, is your farm near Pripyat? Stalker Dew Valley confirmed. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, we have a bunch of irradiated cows, and then we've got the full crops. Um, fall foraging, winter foraging, fish. Fish is what we should be going for. Fish, 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 fish. But fish are difficult. Yeah, I know. We should do some night fishing. I'm going to go down and do a bit of night fishing before bed. Because ah. there's two things in the night fish. There's only two things left in the night fishing bundle. Oh, some worms. Wormies. Um. It was clay. <laughs> ah, it's one mind. <laughs> <laughs> Both just went wormies. Wormies. It's not weird at all. Yeah, you can see uh, where I've we... sent my person to bed because... She's got no energy. You're talking... I like how you're sort of distancing yourself from the character. <laughs> I've like sent my person to the bed. I got rid of her. I got green algae. Bounty mm, of delicious. the lake. Mm. Wasn't the green algae really good for energy? <laughs> yeah, it is quite. It's 13 energy. We've got those... I remember um... when we needed the energy and you were just like, eat this. I was like, no. <laughs> eat my algae. Oh, I got more. We're gonna have loads of it, and then uh, we can just grub up on algae for the rest of the day. Uh, yeah, th uh, this lake is just shit. <laughs> just the worst. Um, we were supposed to have oh. good luck today and everything. Wasn't that yesterday? No, I checked today as well. Yeah. Uh, we've. We're supposed to have good luck, but as we've learnt, the fortune teller is somewhat unreliable. Oh, yeah. Uh, I'm just going to come to bed. I've got, I've got two <laughs> pieces of driftwood, two pieces of algae. It's obviously not my night. That is really depressing. Yeah. We're going to need to upgrade your pickaxe so we can get rid of all these big rocks down here. Yeah, there's a lot of them. Bedtime. It's weird once you put the person to bed, they just there's no noise. <laughs> Still takes sat in silence. Still takes says, "What do you mean? This is your good luck. Imagine if it was bad, you'd be dead by now." <laughs> I guess I should count what? my blessings. Is it a very dangerous life, the farming life in Stardew? Uh, yeah. I mean, you've died Ooh, twice. Raiding. Oh yeah, those slimes, man. Cool. The spirits are somewhat annoyed. So that oh. means you're probably going to do really well. Oh, 
What? There's Jan. I've got the spirits are in good humour today. Oh, I just love you, not me. <laughs> to Farmer Pete Hand. My knee's acting up again, and you know what helps. Rubbing the darn thing with hot pepper. Trouble is, my supplies run dry. If you've got one spare, I'd be much obliged. George, we do have one. Just down here. Give George a good old pepper in. Um, <laughs> good old pepper in. Uh, pop a stick in this. So we should probably go mining regardless. Just yeah. to push the levels. Because we need to get some fire quartz to finish the last bundle. And then we'll get the desert bus. Yeah. Um, um, got some maple syrup say. as well. Oh, artisan. Okay, I'll pop the syrup in here for now. Uh, uh, I was going to say, you need, do you think you can get your axe today? Uh, oh, I'll go check. I will give... I'm just going to pop some stuff away. And then I'll give George his pepper. And I'll... Um, I don't need it. What do I don't I need here? Okay, cool. Um, oh, I don't need a fishing rod either. Um, I don't really need a watering can today either. <laughs> I will give George his pepper, and then um, I'll go check on my axe, and then I will, and then we can go mining. Cool. Uh, I've sort of mixed up the purposes of those boxes now. Um, they're just a bit of a mess now. <laughs> now they're a fun game. <laughs> the star fruit um, grew, so I put it in a box. Oh, good. I can't remember what we were supposed to do with it, if we wanted to do something with it or if we were just going to sell it. I don't think it has a proper purpose, does it, other than being worth a lot of money? Yeah, I think it's just expensive. Mm. Who knows? Not us. Oh, wow. I worked a hun walked 100,000 paces. Wow. <laughs> Good job. Just like real life. <laughs> Yay, steel axe. Woo woo. Nice. I can get hardwood. And we can finally get a kitchen. Oh my bit. god, that would be fantastic. <laughs> You're I, so pleased. I am. I, look, we've learned so many recipes. We're constantly, <laughs> like, desperately after food. That's so true. Oh, George is down here, isn't he? Um, it would be in his house. It's all rainy and lame. Yeah, here he is. No, give him the hot pepper. Took you long enough. Oof. Well, it's good and spicy at least. Thanks. Thanks. <laughs> so we got 200 gold. Woohoo! 200 quid for a pepper. I'm not sure they equate to pounds. I think they do. Uh... I have to think that about simoleons. I'm like, this is definitely not the same as, <laughs> <laughs> as pounds. Right. Let's go mining. I'm in here facing slime. Cool. I'm actually Try quickly... not to die before you get down here. I'm going to quickly check the Adventurer's Guild and see if I completed any of the things. They might have a... Might have a gift for me. I've killed a lot of slimes. <laughs> That's true. Slime, slime. Uh, it's locked. It opens at 2pm. Lazy fuckers. I know. They're an afternoon guild. All the best guilds are. Right. Uh... Hello. Hi. It's, it's like we didn't know each other were going to be here. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, hi. Oh, I, was, I just thought I'd come check out the mines. Fancy seeing you here. <laughs> oh, found the ladder. Woohoo. I've been here digging away and I've got no ladders and you come down there and you're like, boom, ladder. I can, I can just smell them. 
I know the <laughs> smell. smell ladders. <laughs> I know the smell of a ladder any day. I found it! Yay! You, you've learnt the smell of a ladder. Oh, I've got, <laughs> I've got one as well. Oh, ladders galore. I'm going to get these gems and iron first. Yeah. Stuff we need. I've also got two algae. Oh, I've got diamond! Oh! Ooh! Fancy! <coughs> it had like a little purple portrait as well, when I, as opposed to the normal ones, which are like the tan background. Because huh. it's so fancy. Such a fancy diamond. You're a girl's best friend. Because <laughs> girls are gold diggers. No, right. they're diamond diggers. Only friends with valuables. <laughs> No people. Um, oh man. <laughs> do you want to hang out this evening? Nah, I'm just checking out all my diamonds. Just hanging out on my, my possessions, actually. Just sit in my bath full of diamonds. And then oh. I'm gonna then I'm gonna put on plasters from all the pointy diamonds. Um, oh god. We need better weapons. We really do. Or just to have brought some bombs in. Some what? Oh, bombs. I think you said bonding. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> we need more oh. friendship, really. That's what we need. The power of friendship. Our friendship level. Oh, I'm fucking getting murked by this slime. Don't worry, I just keep standing on it for you. Don't worry. Thanks, mate. I'm going to eat some apple. <laughs> I offer myself as tribute. I should have brought that really fancy food. You should, yeah! Like the apple guys gave me. Oh well, next time I'll bring it. Oh, hello. Where's he gone? He's moving all over the place. Team attack! Yay! Should we run away? Oh, you have, okay. I just want to... Oh wanna... my god! <laughs> I just want to get to fire quartz as quick as possible. So that we can finish that bundle. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> oh! It's playing funky music. Yeah. Why not? It just suddenly started when I got to this level. There was no music before that. Me too. It's the funky level. Oh, it's I love a spiral one. Funky ghost spiral. Oh, I like it. It's like jazzy. Jazzy. Jazzy, you like a bit of jazz? Ooh. Oh. Oh. I'm trying to operate my phone at the same time as going around this spiral. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's okay, I'm I'm a I'm talented. Oh my god. Oh no. Okay. So many. Phone operated. Wait. Bomb! Oh. I'm gonna bomb! That was a big bomb as well. Yeah. Oh, oh what's that? A ghost fish. A ghost fish. Ghost fish. Is that one of the rare ones for yeah, the bundle? Yeah, I, I got it last time, and I, it's in the bundle already. Ow. Oh. I got oh. that good luck today. Uh, this looks like one of those levels where StarCraft Two gives you a single unit and then goes, "Okay, go get him, Tiger." Yeah. This is a. Uh, Try not to die by slime level. Oh, god damn it. I'm gonna die by slime. Yeah, me too. Nah, I'm, I'm Should good. I eat this ghost fish? How much it's health really does it give you? really rare. How much health does it give you? 15. It's not much. Okay, I want to get to the middle of this because it's so close. And then, okay. we'll, and then we'll go down that ladder. Um, what did we get? Loads of sap, loads of coal, frozen... Well, that was... Not worth Ooh, it. Oh, geodes! Really. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking love geodes! They're always an adventure. What are you oh. gonna get? Well, we're, we're, next level's level 60. Yes. Yes! Crystal dagger! We're talking about getting better weapons. Oh my god. So this is 4 to 10 damage. So it's, it's less quick. damage, but it's quicker and it does crit and it increases weight? What does that mean? I don't know. Ah. And we found the ice fishing hole as well. Give me some ice fish. There's like a legendary fish down here, I think. Ah, I see. So is the next pit fight? No. Oh. Of course not. 
Where is this fire at? You're not using your dagger? Oh yeah. I think we'll teamwork it. I'll be slow and you be okay. quick. I'll be the rogue. Just Whoa. get backstabbing the <gasps> fuck out of him. <laughs> a fucking shanky, mate. <laughs> I'm literally incredible. Um, what are these weird Maybe I rocks? should be using the dagger. Jade. Oh. Yeah, yeah, use the dagger. We'll, we'll shank them together. <laughs> That'll look great. <laughs> <laughs> Just the two of them <laughs> violently stabbing at things. Especially uh, those little coal things that like, pop I around. I found the ladder. Uh. It is annoying <laughs> not having the sweep, though. Yeah. Oh. Uh-oh, ghost. I'm going to fucking <laughs> shank a ghost. <laughs> it's it's going to take forever, because there's no... It takes so long. Uh-oh. Oh, oh i getting fucked up by a ghost. Will these do more critical damage as well? Oh, fucking... Fucking bat! Bat. I'm gonna die. You don't no. have any food? Nope. Uh oh Fucking shank a ghost. Hey. Uh. It's probably about time to leave anyway. Uh. Yeah. Let's see if we can find the ladder here, and then we'll we'll go home. Let's get out of here. Actually, I I, I don't know. What, why I thought that was that's a good idea because like we don't get to keep this far. Well, I've done it now. Oh, this area is infested. I'm out of here. Leave the mine. <laughs> oh my god. The oh no. Very much almost killed me. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> well, that was dangerous. <laughs> it certainly was. All right, let's head on home. I, we actually did not too bad. Yeah, you got diamond, didn't you? I got diamond. Got a oh, bunch of iron and quartz. Got a frozen geo. Got some jade. Uh, I don't really know what jade is for, but I got it. It's just a gem. Um, is it just stuff to sell? Yeah, unless it's for the museum. Unless we haven't had it yet. Mm, just it doesn't say museum, so I'll just fucking sell it, mate. We're keeping the Start diamonds. For, are we keeping the diamonds for a reason. Keeping at least one. Okay. Why do we only need one? Because we're gonna get the crystal thingy bob, and it's gonna farm them. It's gonna be uh, really good. Okay. Yes. Okay. I'll sell the other one then. Can I sell my club? Oh, I don't no, I can't sell my club. I'll pop my club in a box. And then it's time for bed. Time for beddy buys. Beddy buys, darling. Beddy buys. <laughs> did you... Did, did Ian get a beer 52 box this month? Yeah, he did. I got mine. And I, so, I was, like, this month I was like, I'm going to budget. Right, I'm gonna try and live a bit more leanly, and so I, um, I, uh, I just noticed. That, sorry, this is a tangent. I just noticed that when Sam subscribed, the message he gave was "Thanks for all the laughs, Steltech one." <laughs> so he quoted <laughs> Steltech. He quoted Steltech's <laughs> message in his thing. <laughs> That's really good. Uh, <laughs> Sam really is the backbone of this channel. Um, uh, oh, it's raining today again, so we can go in the mines again. Fortune teller. Spirits are displeased with me again. Yet again. Um, you got the worst luck. Oh, and the melons are done. Melons. Oh, spirits are displeased with me as well. Oh, no. Oh, fuck it. Everybody's having a bad time. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, so, so I was like, all right, I'm going to... 
I'm, I'm gonna cancel beer 52 just I can pick it up another time when when I'm, I've got money again but for now I just cancel mm -hmm. it and went on the website and they were like to cancel you have to call us and I was like oh, oh no. damn it but then it said if you press this button you just get five pound off your next order and I was like oh that's easier than cancelling so I did that <laughs> Um, that's fair. that's how they get you i know so i got another box <laughs> um, i'm gonna tell him to do that <laughs> call up just to get the five pound off no you don't even need to call up there's literally just a button on their website and you just click it oh. and then the, your next thing has five pound off sweet it was it was fucking great mate do we need these melons for anything no, no. we just got them to sell them cool they are going in the box we are going to be fucking rolling in it mate that's how I like to live. Absolutely rolling in it. <laughs> what do you want to be rolling in? Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. That's how my dog lives. He'd never seen cut grass before, like, March. Because he wasn't, you know, born. Right, yeah. And uh, he just, every time he sees it, he's like, oh my god, rolling it. <laughs> okay. Uh, we're going to go mining, and this time we're actually going to bring food. So I'm going to oh. take half the field snacks. And there's there's some field snacks in the purple box for you, Maddie. Okay. I'm going to take two autumn bounties. Actually, I'll take one autumn's bounties because it gives 220 energy, 88 health, two defense, and Whoa. two foraging. So if you take one of those as well, then we'll have some decent gear to go mining with. Right. Um, so hopefully we won't actually die. Even though the spirits so. pay us. Well, yeah, but it's raining. So what else are we going to do? True. Let's go then. Cool, because if we keep pushing, we can get. We could probably get to. It's nine o'clock now, so we could probably get to. Get to them fire courts. Get to them fire courts, and we've got plenty of food to recover us. I'm gonna take the uh, chili to George. That I got the same quest, and now I have a chili. Okay, sounds good. Oh, two hundred gold. <laughs> Cashing in. Oh yeah, we were gonna get another cow, weren't we? Yeah, and we need a bucket for our cow. Yes, we always do that tomorrow. Yeah, um, that's a non-rainy day. No, oh, don't eat the pepper. Motherfucking mining, my friend. Um, oh yeah. Also, if we get to a a, a lift level, um, while the guild is open, I'll pop up and visit the guild. Ah, yes. Right. Down into the snowy depths. Snowy depths of the mine. I think this knife has like a bleed effect because it, it kept damaging these guys after I'd stabbed them. Ooh. That's kind of cool. But does the small amount of damage not bother you? That they just. You've got it, to keep shanking them. It's alright for some things. Oh, this area's overrun with monsters. Fuck. You've been shanking a ghost for a long time. Yeah, ghosts are a problem. Level 60. <laughs> oh, there's a giant slime. Oh. <laughs> 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 Are you in the infested area? Oh god. Yeah, hello. You're I've gonna... got a bomb. Okay, let's use that on the big one. Okay. Run away! Uh, is he gonna get him? Yeah! I didn't kill him though. Nope. Nope. <laughs> the big ones don't have eyes. Yeah, well they break up into little ones. Oh, I've never fought a big one before. Uh, oh. oh. Okay. <laughs> I was like, what's happening? Because I can <laughs> see the slime. <laughs> I'm just shanking into the air. Just shaking and taking damage. I was like, what is that? Get fucked, slimy boy. That's my motto. Get I fucked, slimy seen... boy. Where are the ladders? They come after you've killed everything, don't they? Oh. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. 
Do you never stay for infested levels? No, just run away. <laughs> oh, is this oh, a diamond? Oh, whoa. Sorry, diamond. just having a having a hay fever attack. Bloody hay fever. Don't it's mind worse. me. It is, yeah. Uh, oh, come, come, come here, come here, come here. There we go. Shank. <laughs> <laughs> you have a shank to bat. <laughs> that seems like a difficult task. And yet, I managed shank. it. <laughs> shank a bat out of the sky. <laughs> oh, I'm really enjoying your uh, oh, rim world at the minute. Stars themselves. Yeah, right? That that got <laughs> fucking crazy in the last episode. It took a turn. Oh no. Fuck. Oh, Poor mad dog. I know. Killed by a boomalope. I don't even know how that got in the building. Yes, he did. He found the hole. Oh, yes. Yeah, sorry. I do know how he got in the building. Yeah. Because someone, someone was like, ah, we'll put in an air conditioning unit here. I'll make the hole and then I'll see if we have the materials. <laughs> I'll oh. totally get round to that at some <laughs> point. <laughs> Oh, we don't seem to have the materials. That'll be fine. I'm sure nothing will happen. It's we not like this structure for anything. Yeah, it's not like this room needs to be sealed for coldness. Ah, oh, it was what? just so tragic. Things just kept happening, and then you went for the uh, for the space refugee, and I was like, "But you've just survived. What are you doing?" Well, but I needed another person. Yeah. And Hannah's now back in the colony. And mm. she's not a pyromaniac. <laughs> like, hey, that pyromaniac's been holding it down. Actually, Erison has any fires. Erison has been wonderful. Fucking Gennady's the bane of my existence. He's like, oh, like, I can't do anything. I can barely walk. I'm just gonna wander around and starve myself to death. Yeah. All right, Gennady. I need a fuck doctor. Off. Oh, the only doctor is just having a psychotic break. <laughs> Yeah, so I went outside and it was raining and that was just the last straw. So yeah. I uh so I decided I was just gonna let my friend die. Yeah. Oh, okay. Alright, Gennady. That's a choice. <laughs> <laughs> you're a Yeah, you're a sensible man. I get, but he survived. Fucking mad dog died, but Gennady oh, survived. No. Right, I found the ladder. Well the thing is he had a choice, right? Like to stop his break at any point and eat some food. And he did. He eventually yeah. just went, actually, I'm done. Oh, all right. You're back, are you? Okay, then. Whereas poor Mad Dog didn't really have a choice. <laughs> yeah. Poor Mad Dog. Oh, well. I honestly, I thought when that happened, I thought, this is it. This yeah. one's over. We'll end it here. We'll, we'll pick up a new colony next time we play. But nope. Shady Acres is still there. It's a strange retirement home when only one of them's old. Uh, all of them were old when we started. They were oh. like in their like, their like true cryo age was like, like in their like at least eighties for all of them. Oh okay. But Gennady was five hundred and fourteen or something. <laughs> so and he I was... just felt like you needed all those colonies just to, colonists just to look after Gennady. <laughs> well, it, all he was good at was shooting. That was it. And then like. A boomalope attacks and he's like, nah, not not interested. Sorry, mate. <laughs> Busy having a breakdown. Yeah. It's like the worst animal to go mad. Oh yeah, absolutely. Although actually, like in 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 the actual event, like he didn't kill anything. He didn't blow up anything. No. I was. I think the reason Mad Dog died was because I was so cautious because I didn't want him to fight him face to face. Yeah. But uh. But had I just been fine... You, <laughs> you shanked that bat. <laughs> Thanks, mate. Bye, bye, bye. Bye, 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 bat. A fucking shank a bat, mate. You have shanked a bat, because I have. I've got a duck bill for a time. face. <laughs> Alright, when we get to the next level... Oh, I found the ladder. Um, I'm going to pop up and visit the... Adventurers Guild. Cool. Just gonna finish shanking this slime. Oh. 
<laughs> just turned up and just hold something over my head instead of fighting dead and slimes. I also like that, oh, as if you hadn't noticed I was shanking a slime. <laughs> well, I was just dying by slime as ever. <laughs> right, let's go visit the adventurers, see what they got for me. Uh, oh, it's a thousand slimes and I've done 80. Wow, mm. okay. What about other things like ghosts? Uh, Can you kill a ghost so many times? Is that a thing? They, ha they don't appear on the list for some reason. Slimes, question mark. Bats, I've got 34 out of 200, question mark. Cave insects, I've got 94 out of 125. Ooh. Duggies, I've got 7 out of 30. And dust sprites, I've got 45 out of 500. Oh, the dust sprites, that's what I'm currently fighting. One of them turned into a coffee bean, and one of them gave me a crystal fruit. Oh, fun. I could buy a weapon. I could buy a... Ooh! I could spend four grand of our money on a Templar's blade. <laughs> if, you, if you want to. I kind of really do. The cow can wait. I kind of really want a Templar's blade. <laughs> Get it? Yeah, that's it. I'm doing it. I'm going to sell him my dagger. Oh, I can't. I did. Cool. Oh, I've got a magnet ring. Yeah. We get them at one of the levels. Yeah, no, I've got two now. I've got a magnet ring and a small oh. magnet ring. Oh. I can't come in the Adventurous Guild. I think it's because it's late, but it just says... Yeah, it closes at ten. Look at this. Oh. I'm a Templar Whoa. now. It is 22 to 29 damage, and it, and it gives me Shit. a defense. Oh I, am, I am now the Templar. I will protect us. Uh, <laughs> You're our tank. <laughs> yes, yeah. Be cool if oh, I, I haven't played D&D &D in forever. We played fairly recently. I, uh, yeah. I, I used a move on Seb called Finger of Death. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. <laughs> oh yeah. I keep like seeing the group I play with be like, "Hey, it's the weekend. Are you coming?" I'm like, "No." <laughs> no. Dying slowly from a vision. No. I want to go outside. Um, we're gonna be able to afford a cow tomorrow anyway because we sold all those melons. Woo. So. Uh. I just looked over so. on my second monitor and. Anal word that anal worm that feeds on sea milk. <laughs> oh dear! Do you want to oh get to dear. bed, mate? Who? Who? What are you talking to? <laughs> oh, I leveled up farming. I got. Quite, that's a lot of melon. I got. A you can get five hundred cows. I got a loom. Oh, I can make a loom. I mean, fifteen grand. Got all oh, the melons! Fifteen grand's worth of melons! This truly is the summer of melons. I named the stream well. Oh god, we're so rich. Yes! Rich in melons! What else is there to do? That's it, we should just quit now. We've won. <laughs> this is it, this is the game. Now, you were supposed to take me to winter, remember? Oh yeah. I'm excited. And it's maybe even further. Um... <laughs> What? What? That sounds like a terrible chat-up line. <laughs> <laughs> Take me further than winter, baby. Um... Oh, so we can make soil that stays watered overnight. Oh, cool. It just takes stone and clay. Oh, why yeah. have we not been doing that? Quality retaining soil. Well, well, we'll do. The, I guess it's a choice of that or um, or fertilizer. So we'll have to decide what oh. we want to do. But we probably should be making shit like fertilizer and stuff at this point. Yeah. Mm. I love that all these crops are going to stay here. We have to deal with it. It's going to be really good. Um, all our corn's going to just roll over. Oh yeah. Um, 
I keep thinking like, oh, I'll water all these plants, and then remembering that you literally have a faster watering can. Oh yeah. And it's such a waste of time for me to do it. <laughs> what are you gonna do today? You go to the forest. We can, we can go to the forest. Uh, what do we want to do in the forest? Get hardwood. Oh yeah. Let's go get hard in the forest. <laughs> um, no, I don't want to eat this winter. I want to watch TV. Two very different things. Yeah, what's that look like? So Spirits are in good humour. Well. So I'm going to take these geodes over to our old friend. Oh, you can upgrade your axe while you're there if you want. I have upgraded my axe. So I, I, uh, you should be upgrading your pickaxe. Well, you can take yours. Same, same different. Okay, I'll, I'll take mine then. I've got all that watering to do. You can go buy us a uh, cow. Cow! Whatever the name was that I'll look back in the chat for. Uh, it was Cowabunga. Cowabunga. Uh, wait, you get a forecast from the TV. No wonder it's never acted, never <sighs> accurate. Probably a scripted reality program. Uh, yeah. Well, I like how like this. They 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 give like specific readings for Stardew Valley but there's no yeah. TV station here so someone somewhere is giving specific fortune readings for this small town oh, I forgot to bring any of the iron fuck me uh... <laughs> they just think we're all suckers like do you know who believes in all this nonsense them suckers at Stardew well, I said this before in the previous one, but like they all act like this is a farming town, but there's one farm and until <laughs> recently no one lived on it and they they just the old farmer died on the farm and no one seemed to give a shit. <laughs> like they were just like, "Ah, oh, okay." It's happened now. And then you turn up and they're like, "Oh, a new farmer." That's weird. The only farmer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and the old one died in his house. Um... Yeah, it is a bit weird. Also, like, what was sustaining the economy before? Joja Mart. I but guess. that's like they live there. They buy things from Joja Mart. Oh yeah, like, wh where do they get the money from? Where do they get the money from? Pam presumably lives off benefits or like intense savings from her days as a bus driver <laughs> uh, like does penny do that for free or just well penny she would get paid, get paid by the parents of the kids maybe yeah and and then their their mum is a uh is a they have two different mums yeah, the, but one of them is one of them's living with Marnie, right? And then the other one is yeah. their mum is married to a soldier, right? Yeah. So he's probably bringing in the bacon and sending it back. Yeah. And um. Ooh. Well, I wonder. Like Demetrius is always trying to make science, but what? What? How is he getting paid in this small town? Uh, he's sending his science off. St sending his science. Excuse me, sir, would you like to buy some science? <laughs> oh, I just happen to have a bag full of science here. That's all I do all day. Steltech says the science. whole town is a front for a drug lord. Um, ah, that makes sense. But who's the drug lord? Is it Lewis? Just Demetrius. <laughs> would you <laughs> like to buy some is. science? Demetrius, I know it's heroin. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm an honest scientist. Science! Science in a syringe! Just put it in your body, you'll be incredibly smart! <laughs> Demetrius, stop. You know I'm hooked. I'll buy it anyway, you don't need to talk it up. Life is pain. <laughs> the farmer died in his shed the other day. <laughs> From a heroin overdose. Um... What have I... what have I got? Sorry, so I've put my... Huh? Oh, fuck... fucking... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yes? I did the geodes, and then I just totally walked out, forgetting that I intended oh. to do the pickaxe. So I'm going back to do the pickaxe now. 
We have Cowabunga now. Yay! Do you want more animals or should we save our money for the kitchen? Uh, let's save it for the kitchen, shall we? Yeah. So we want to be able to start cooking stuff so we can spend longer in the mines. Yeah. Uh, Although now I've got my Templar sword, we'll be able to... Ooh, gold axe. Right, I put my pickaxe in for upgrading. Music. It's so good. I think yeah. I could just listen to Saji forever. <laughs> Can you get the soundtrack I should on like, Spotify or something? Yeah, I should revise to it. Yeah. Oh, that'll be really good. I'm just going to shut my window quickly. Oh, there you are with a radiator. <laughs> <laughs> I love radiators. I'm back. Back. Hey. Oh, I can't hear myself. There we go. Um, right, so where's the big wood around here? Uh, right at the far top left hand side. Okay. I will come and help you. Uh, it, apparently, the, the, the soundtrack is $5 on Bandcamp. Oh. Hmm. Worth it. Yeah. Ah, I see the big log. Yeah? I'm going to delog it. That's what it's called when you do this, right? E log. So Yay! Many. Eight hard words. Woohoo! Oh, oh, the slime's here. Yeah, I should have warned you. Have you got a weapon? Yeah, I got my Templar sword. Remember? Of course. I've Sorry, never been I'm in this part. Scene. Have you not? No. Ah. It's, even, it's even got like funky music. Oh, and there's a pool here. Yeah, and there's all those little stumps that, and they regenerate every day. And there's like a little shrine. Yes. Oh, this is very cool. There's 74 songs on the soundtrack for five dollars. Oh my god. That's really good. Well worth it. This sword is fucking great. Oh my god, just smashing through the slimes. I know. Just mowing through them. I will cleanse this temple. <laughs> Get away, slimies. You slimy non-believers. Oh! Old Master Cannoli, still searching for the sweetest taste. Yep, that he is. Do we have to give him stuff? Yep, you have to give him the sweetest taste. What's the sweetest taste? I feel like it's a strange bun. Or uh, the berry, the ancient berry thing. The ancient berry thing. Yeah. That's a... That's a... What? <laughs> How do I get to this the, little bit the down ancient here? ancient berry, of course. The ancient berry. Mm-hmm. Oh, there's a gap in the, um... There's a gap in the... Oh, yeah, thing. I found it, yeah. Sorry, I was waiting through a cutscene to give a guy a fruit that he asked for, and it took forever. Because time continues to move while I'm in a cutscene. Oh, yes. And then I was like, where's he gone? <laughs> Got outside. I have 20 hardwood. Woo! How do I get out? Of oh, no. Same way you got in. No, I went a different way and I got stuck. Okay, there we go. Yay! Cool. Wow. Hello. Hello. So now you just need to do that every day. And then we'll have the hardwood for the kitchen. <laughs> Sounds good. How much do we need? I feel like it's 150. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. If I could totally be wrong. That's a lot of wood. That's a lot of wood. No one can handle that much wood. Oh, also there's some here. So. Oh, yeah. You can chop that. You can. And I will. Whoa. Nothing will stop me from chopping this wood. Not even you. I don't want to. Good. I wouldn't. Isn't that good? <laughs> I wouldn't dare. <laughs> I don't know what might happen. 
The wood would fall down. Yeah, you, I would. We just wouldn't get enough wood, and it would be problematic. We'd never have that dream kitchen. That kitchen we've both been dreaming of all these years. We make fried eggs every day. Mmm, delicious fried eggs. And we can fry up some pine tar. Mmm, pine tar. Mm, mm, I can't get out of these trees. <laughs> <laughs> Today, uh, one of the people I work with found this article about how millennials are ruining dinner parties. Ruining <laughs> dinner parties, right. Okay. Yes, because we're not se sending thank you letters within 36 hours to the host. We're turning up too early. Right. Uh, we're drinking too many soy soy daiquiris. <laughs> soy milk daiquiris. Right. I was like, what is this? My lymph nodes are full of eroticism. We're uh, just the worst. <laughs> we, uh, uh, just as a side note, are we selling jam? Yeah. Cool. Um, yeah, that sounds... I mean, it, is that an article? Is that... Is that what an article is? It's just you complaining about people not doing a thing the way you like doing it? I mean, if someone pays you to write it, then yes. It. I, I don't think that's what qualifies an article. <laughs> Being paid to spout shit on the internet. Like, who are these people? That's literally like Nigel Farage's job. I know. I know. Oh, woe is me. Oh, whoa. Oh, whoa. Oh, whoa. Oh, whoa. Cool. Um, ah! Uh, was I picking the right options or the left options? Oh, I feel like it was the right, but I don't remember. What are the options? Uh, forester for? or gatherer for foraging. I don't think I've picked either one of those yet, so... Okay, I'll go... Gatherer. I think it's right. Yeah. Um, I'll quickly check my abilities after this. Abilities? Where's my skills? Here we go. I went for tiller in farm. Oh, it doesn't say if it's right or left. Okay. Oh, yeah, I went for rancher in farming. So we've both got the right, a different thing there. Cool. Okay, well, I've not for... got to foraging yet, okay. so... I went for gatherer and foraging, so... Okay. Um... Queen of Sauce! Greetings! It is I, the Queen of Sauce! Here to teach you a new mouth-watering recipe from my secret cookbook. This week's dish... Bread! Secret bread! Bread, <laughs> bread making can be a very complex form of art. I'll make it simple for you. The most important ingredient is flour, of course. But before we create the dough, we'll need to activate our yeast. They prefer warm water and a little something to feed on. I use plain sugar, but honey or maple syrup will do. We learn to cook bread. Woo! Lovely. And the fortune teller says, Spirits are very happy. Oh, I got neutral. Do, 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 do. Oh, we got corn. We have lots of corn. Dear Pete Hand, tonight at 10 o'clock, a rare and beautiful event will take place. The Moonlight yeah. Jellies will be passing by Pelican Town on their way on their long journey south for winter. We're all gathering at the beach. Oh, how lovely. Well, we've got enough corn to fulfill our corn quota. Oh, no, we need we need gold star corn, corn no, don't we? Yeah. yeah. That good corn. Gold star corn. Well, we might have enough. I think we only need five. Oh yeah, we've got two cows. Two cows. Cowabunga! Yay! <laughs> oh, there's no point watering anything. Because it's going to die, apart uh, from corn. Yeah, water all the corn. Oh, all we have is corn. Never mind. <laughs> well, we've got uh, hops and things over here. Okay, I will sell all but the gold star. How much do we need? Of the gold? I feel like it's five. Uh, quality crops. Yeah, cool. we got enough. Woo! Okay, so cool. So just pumpkins left? Yep. 
lovely. And then that is... Then we got full crops, animal, and artisan. Okay, so we're still a while off from a greenhouse. Um, yeah, the, the cheese is in a new animal. We could, we'll get the bridge by winter. Uh, glittering bold for fish, probably a while off. Yeah. Um, fire quartz for geologist, fine. We haven't put any money into the vault yet. You I can do the the littlest one if you want. Yeah, I'll do that. I'll, when I put the corn in, I'll I'll go. I'll go put the corn in now, and then I'll I'll buy the two and a half grand one. Even yeah, this is okay because we can still save up for our kitchen. Yeah, there's a two and a half grand one and a five grand one, and then ten grand and fifty grand. But um, well, I think it's twenty five grand actually. Maybe I don't know. Anyway, uh, if we buy uh, the uh, two and a half and the five grand, that'd be quite a lot of money. So let's just go for the two and a half one for now. Yeah. Um. Hey, Carl. How you doing? Hello. Uh, just doing some farming. You're exhausted. You had a long day. Uh, did you ever finish those um, Easter eggs in Black Ops, Carl? Uh, quality crops. Yay! Quality crops is done. Oh, you only need three, not four. So quality crops is done now. Oh, sweet. Yeah. So we got. A preserves jar! Woohoo! You're on round 100 on zombies. You left your stream running. Fucking hell, man. <laughs> Whoa. I watched him the other day for like a couple of hours. Or maybe an hour or something. And and it, it yeah, he, he was at level 25 when I stopped watching him. And, um, oh my god. Yeah, so that's, that's, uh, it's too much. <laughs> um,. Uh, what was I doing? I was going to buy the bundle. Well, good luck with, with that. Um, Jeez. <laughs> that is some patience. We've got three chocolate cake. Oh. Ooh. Lovely. Sorry, I, I can't go to the beach to fill up the crab pots because it's festival. Uh, it took Carl six hours and 20 minutes with breaks in between. Oh, no, six hours with 20 minute breaks in between. He started at one. Fucking hell, Whoa. Carl. <laughs> that is dedication to the zombies. Good evening, Laura. Day. My melons are fantastic. <sighs> Our melon <gasps> harvest I... was glorious. I did really wonder where that was going. <laughs> My melons are firm, and I've sold them to the highest bidder. <laughs> uh, right, I'm going to pop down another preserves jar. We're going to have do. jam for days. Jam for days. Mm. Or pickles. Or pickles. Yeah, what? if you put something savoury in it, it'll pickle it. Mm. Like what? Like corn. <laughs> mm. If you uh, were so inclined. Where should I put this preserves jar? A little, like, parade of things is full. Oh. Uh, near the barn or... I don't know. We should uh, probably tidy up at some point. Yeah, we'll make a little like area for machines. Well, I'm going to pop the cakes in here. Well, you give them to people on birthdays and actually make some friends. Ooh, that's a good idea. Yeah. Okay, so we got Moonlight Jellies at 10pm. Yes. What are we going to do till then? Well, I want to see what the... The travelling lady has the cell. Oh, I've got to go get hardwood, haven't I? I've got to get yeah. hard. Okay, I'm going to go get hard. And then, um... What's the travelling lady selling? Anything good? She's selling a rare seed, but it is a thousand. What? Rare seed of what? It's a it's a thing. And you grow oh. it and it becomes an ancient fruit. And it oh. grows in fall. So... If it's a grand, we could afford that. Yeah. yeah. Shall I buy it? Yeah, go for it. That sounds good. And there's a cherry sapling that's discounted from what it would be in Piers' store, and it's 2550 Hmm, I feel like that's quite a hit. We've got to buy a bunch of other crops at the beginning of oh, yeah. autumn. Oh, okay. so... yeah. Okay. Never mind. Cool, I'm going to put this in the chest. 
Cool, sounds oh. good. Because uh, tomorrow is autumn, and I'll, I'll have to change the stream title. Because currently it says oh, Summer yeah. of Melons. Um, for the last like twenty minutes before we <laughs> before we start. Pumpkin, pumpkin, pumpkin. Uh, oh, also for those of you who haven't seen any of the Stardew stuff we've done before, um, the old streams. Twitch obviously saves our old streams for thirty days, but now I'm I'm getting back into putting it all up on YouTube. So there's a link to our YouTube channel at the bottom of the stream if you want to catch up on old stuff. All the Stardew stuff is up there, and due to the terms of the affiliate stuff, I can't put them up on YouTube immediately after we're done with them. But they can go up 24 hours later. So everything that's on here will go up on there 24 hours later. And at oh some my point some point when I actually have time outside of like my day job and shit I want to edit together some like highlights of clips and stuff you guys have done so if you That'd guys so cute. yeah if you guys see anything you really like uh, and you think it's really funny and could go well in a compilation clip it because I will see it and hopefully I can pop it into a video I also intend to clip up all of the review shows so that they can be viewed like the individual reviews can be viewed that that currently exists on twitch on but twitch. i i intend to do it on youtube as well um that is so cool yeah you. well Throw it out i mean this that's if i have the time i mean like my my day job is literally video production so i <laughs> coming home and doing even more of it is sometimes a bit tedious <laughs> it's one of the reasons why i stream instead of record youtube videos because then I get to just play the game and instead of having to sit and edit shit all night. Um, just going to dance around you in happiness. Ooh, is there anything Ooh. we can do for the next? Yeah, there is. We can go fishing. Oh, um, yeah. And then we can go to the jellies. Yeah. Let's, so can we go fishing at the seaside? No. Yeah. We can go to the river, though, just outside. Yeah, let's go to the river. Oh, we'll get the iron out of these things first. Oh, why? It'll still be there later. <laughs> I, was, I was in the neighbourhood. Thought I'd grab me some iron. Grab me some iron bars. Ooh, I'll grab a cheeky iron bar. <laughs> cheeky. <laughs> Ooh, cheeky iron bar. Do you so, ever, like, run on side you without looking at the screen and you're just, like, in a bush? <laughs> Quite like, regularly. When we were trying to go through that spiral thing earlier while I was trying to do something on my phone. <laughs> I thought we were going to... Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's totally right. I just walked into... <laughs> Damn it! I just want to go to the goddamn beach! Show me the jellies! Oh, well. <laughs> that was a choice. That's not how you fish, Maddie. Nope. Oh. oh, already better than the lake. What have you got? I have a bream. So <laughs> would this be night fishing or river fishing or both? Both, right? I don't know. I don't really know how fishing works in this game. Yeah, I don't fish a lot. I don't have the patience. <laughs> I just buy all the fish from the travelling lady. I do have to say, this has some of the best fishing of a game that has fishing in it, I think. Like, I've played a lot of WoW, and uh, anyone who's played WoW with me will have heard me complain about fishing in that game, um, and how it's effectively just a time sink. Um, but at least this has, like, a little mini-game involved with it. And, uh... Do you want to go to the jellies? Yeah, yeah, I'm just catching a fish. Come on, you bastard. I got trash. Yay. Trash. I can love trash. I got a pike. Ooh. That looks it's, fancy. It's a frustrating mini game. I quite like it. I think once you get the hang of it, not get the hang of it, sorry. I think once you've leveled it up a bit and it's not so punishing, it's quite good. Hey, everybody. Bye. I think it's really annoying. The jellies are, were here a year ago, and they'll be back again a year from now. Nature is amazing. 
the concept of time is just <laughs> brilliant. Don't you love how seasons come and go <laughs> the same all the time? I should have brought my camera. I always forget. I mean, you could just go do it. You could go get it now. Yeah, there's nothing stopping you. That's a heavy load of people for an ancient wooden dock. I'll stay over here near the beach. All right, Marnie. I'll let them all die. <laughs> I'll let everyone else die, including my child. <laughs> is it Marnie's child? I don't know. I, I feel always, like she is. I always got the impression that it, like Marnie was like the grandmother looking after the child, but I don't know. And whose child is it? I don't know. Because she calls Shane Uncle Shane. Look out there at the endless sea, deep underwater. All kinds of life forms are moving around in the dark. Eerie, isn't it? Well, maybe you're right, because she's Uncle Shane. Oh, Clint. I wore my special shoes tonight. No one noticed. Oh, oh Clint. Well, it's a bit dark for your special shoes. That's true. This is not a special shoes kind of night. Should we get the jelly started? Good evening, uh, Pete Tan. Oh. The moonlight jellies are close. I already saw one glowing in the distance. Once we launch the candle boat, they'll come up to the docks and say hello. <laughs> so, yeah, jellyfish just like, hi. Clint needs our, our top fashion tips. Yeah, we'll tell Aww. him. We'll tell him. Well, to be fair, like, apparently he is wearing his fashionable boots. It's just no one cares. <laughs> <laughs> no, our tip is that it's too dark for him. Oh, yeah. Good point. Yeah, sorry. I mean, he definitely needs fashion advice from Duckman and Hermit. <laughs> all he does is wear his um, forge gear all the time. <laughs> Which, having a brother who is a blacksmith, I know that's not comfortable to wear all the time. <laughs> that's why he's so upset all the time. <laughs> yeah, because he's just weighed down by super heavy fireproof gear. <laughs> Imagine if he just can't take it off. He's had no. He can't reach around. He's never just asked anyone. Melted onto his body. <laughs> in the heat <laughs> of the furnace. I don't know if I've told Andy's forge stories on on stream. He was telling me about. Um, have I told you about Andy and his iron forging and stuff? Um, I may have told you bits and bobs. Yeah, bits um, and bobs. So I went up to visit him uh, and saw him do an iron pour, which was amazing. Like oh, seeing wow. seeing molten metal pour is one of the coolest fucking things. Um, and uh, we uh, there's like they have like a bathtub full of water. Oh, I'll, I'll okay. finish this first. Uh, the glow of summer has faded now, and the moonlight jellies carry on toward the great unknown. I spoiled that that moment. I like the jelly music as well. Yeah. You can buy the uh, the <laughs> the soundtrack for five dollars on Bandcamp. <laughs> um, message Steltech for a link. Um, yes, yeah, so they had, they had a bathtub full of water, and I was like, "What's the bathtub for?" And they were like, "So if someone gets iron on them, you just dump them in the bathtub because you don't know where the 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 burn is." Yeah, so, and he said that there was this time where they were they were working with this guy, and he was a bit sort of sort of carefree kind of thing, like not really paying much attention. Oh, I got level fishing. I'm going to go for trapper, um, okay. so I can craft crab. Oh, the resources required for crab pots is reduced. Oh, um, I'll make a bunch of crab pots. Um, he was messing around a bit, and. What, when they they do like um, show pourings, they have like audiences most of the time when they do pouring. Oh, cool. Um, oh, thank you for posting the link again, Steltec. Um And uh, so they had an audience watching them do this iron pour. Oh, the spirits are in good humour, um, but not for this story. Uh, <laughs> they, they had an audience watching them do the iron pour, and this guy he gets something on him somewhere some iron on him and so he just freaks out and just runs towards the audience oh my god yeah right and so uh, andy and his friend lewis who's this giant uh, basically without thinking just run over pick him up under each arm and just dump him into this bucket of water um and he uh he uh like 
whatever it is, he's fine after this. But th because you have no idea, so when when you when you get burnt, it's really hard to tell where the burn is for the person who's been burnt. Huh? Because it's just like a general pain kind of thing like it's so hot that you can't tell where it is and so you can't say to someone like my hand is burnt you just have to dump the entire of them in the water but um for them they were like it was like this is what you do when this happens you just immediately go out and you grab them and you dump them and you don't think about it but for the audience it must be fucking terrifying <laughs> just this guy just being like then be like, yeah, everything's safe. This is a really safe environment. We got you far enough away so that nothing will happen to you. And then this guy, one of the guys who's working on it, just sprints towards the audience. <laughs> right. Just loses their mind and is like, yep, I'm coming at you. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Uh... That's a, a, it's an interesting job. It's a cool one. It's a, it's a cool thing to do. I... Um... I tried to make a cast and it didn't work. Oh. My cast was bad, apparently. Um, Andy spent the entire time going, it'll probably work, it'll probably work. And then we did it and he's like, oh, sometimes they don't. Okay, oh. Ooh, fair enough. <laughs> oh, blah. Um, yeah, it's fine. I tried to cast a mug that, and <gasps> I was going to have like a giant iron mug. Um. I'm not sure how practical it would have been. Well, I always think... Andy was like, don't drink out of it, because it will rust. Um, but I was saying I would like to have it like as like a dice holder for D&D. Oh, cool. Because then okay. that, would, that would be pretty metal to have this giant... Well, literally metal to have this giant iron mug. <laughs> um, right, we need to get some new seeds. New crops, yes, please. Yeah, okay. And fertilizer. Yeah, so you, you you can make fertilizer, right? We can both make yeah. fertilizer. So it's on the second page if you scroll down on the on the construction thing. So I'll go get crops, and you can start on the fertilizer. Yeah, digger digging and fertilizer. Yep, sounds good to me. Um, so we want one of everything. Uh, and then fuck tons of pumpkins, or does it not matter because we're not going for the? Uh, sorry. And then fuck tons of pumpkin? Uh, if that's the most valuable vegetable, then yes. Uh, yeah, and uh, it's one of the best ways to get good points at the show. Oh, yes, yeah. Deltex says, sound like me when I'm coding. It'll probably compile. Compiler, nope, not a chance in hell. <laughs> <laughs> right, so we got corn, we're fine on that. Eggplant... Bok choy. Oh, yeah. Yam. Yam. Yeah. Cranberry. We've done wheat. I often forget that yams are in the bundle and just sell them, and then I'm like, no. Fairy seeds. <gasps> yeah, that would be cute. Amaranth. Yeah, we should get some of that. How much do we want of that? Well, I feel like... Um... What's her face? Mariad asks us for it. So we only need one each, I think. Okay, I'll get four. Um, I'll get six grape starters and we'll start a little vineyard. Um, okay, cool. And then pumpkins take 30. Okay, so we're going to get a shitload of pumpkins. Oh, I wonder if your axe is, your pickaxe is done. Oh yeah, it probably will be. Uh, 60 pumpkins. That'll, that'll do. We don't want to do another parsnips. <laughs> no. But melons worked out very well. <laughs> Nora's chipping in on the, the programming woes. Oh, it's okay. I found the problem. Tries again. Compiler. Nope. Not a chance in hell. <laughs> um, okay, let's go grab me some pickaxe. Grab me some big eggs. Oh, there's a rabbit. That's the entire thing of working with computers, though, isn't it? It's like, what's wrong? What's wrong with you today? <laughs> All right, I've got a copper pickaxe. Mm. Yeah, I, I, there's a lot of similar stuff in, in animating as well, so I, I definitely sympathise. 
and especially as well because when you're when you're working with animation especially with like after effects and plugins and stuff often you're working with stuff that's programmed by someone that like when you're dealing with third party plugins something reacts badly or doesn't work the way you expect it to and there's just nothing you can do about that <laughs> and you just say like, oh okay i guess that's how it looks now you people go oh you can make anything with animation it's like well within the bounds of what the computer is willing to do for me <laughs> are, you, are you giving me her fertilizer Why yeah it's just stopping putting the plants down before i did it <laughs> so I didn't want to interrupt you, so I just gave you fertilizer. It was kind of passive aggressive, really. <laughs> I w I didn't put anything down. I w I saw you doing it, so I was like, oh wait. Then <laughs> you passive aggressively handed me some fertilizer. <laughs> Here right. is some poo. I'm gonna get. <laughs> it's made of sap. Yeah, um, we know what it's made of in real life, though, mm, don't we? We do. Oh, I can't break the brig rocks yet. Oh, there's a ca is it hello cow? It's bow chicka cow. Bow chicka cow. Bow chicka cow cow. Can allow pregnancy. Yeah, I don't think I've ever had a cow have a, another cow. Well, cause, can you buy bulls? No. So where do they? How do they get pregnant? Ah, uh, it's magic. Parsnipple looks happy. Tofurky looks happy. You can say hi to fuck boy. Tell me when you're all fertilised out. We need a shitload of plots because um, I've got 60 pumpkins. Yeah, so what I've... What has already been dug has been fertilised. Needs more digging. Okay, I will come over and start planting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We should really, like, divide up our farms. <laughs> Make it look beautiful. Yeah. Like all those other streams I saw. <laughs> People don't come here for beauty. Okay, I'm going to have, like, a little section over here for the... Um, for the... Vineyard. Because... Are, are grapes even worth that much? I just like the idea of having a little vineyard. Okay. Look at that. Oh, it does look cute. Yeah. Should get four more so I can fill out another row. Okay. It's pumpkin time. Oh, no. Oh. Uh... Do you become as obsessed with antihistamine, like, over this... I hate the time. Like I'm just obsessed. I'm like, when can I take another one? <laughs> uh, no, actually, <laughs> like an addict. I've been I've been quite good this year. Just a couple of squirts a day of uh, nasal spray and one antihistamine, and I'm all good. Ooh. Previous years, I've been an absolute mess. But uh, yeah, this year I've been totally fine. And as well, there was you you see that um, like ten ways to have more money as a student Facebook page. Yeah. So they have a WhatsApp mailing list you can sign up to. They just occasionally just send you stuff. And one of them was like uh, 120 antihistamine tablets for three quid. Oh, my God. So I what? got 120 antihistamine tablets for three quid. Oh, my God. So I've just got piles of them all over my desk now. And then when I was, I was talking to... Um, I was talking to my girlfriend, and she was like, I've got a bunch of antihistamines. And I was like, uh, "Like, and I don't even have hay fever, so you can have them. And I was like, <gasps> fucking great. So I've got so oh. many. No, uh, I ran out. I, I bought a month, and I was like, yeah, a month of antihistamines. I'm doing so well. And then <laughs> we ran out, and I was like, oh, I'm going to die. Apparently, I, I, have mentioned, I may have mentioned hay fever before, <laughs> according to, to Laura in chat. Uh... <laughs> Yeah. Maybe once or twice. <laughs> like, it's just crazy because mine's only just starting to come out because I'm mainly like middle of the year, like middle of the summer, fucking grass. Mm. And I'm like, oh, no, it's coming. 
I make it stop. <laughs> Why? Why is this happening to me? Ian thinks it's hilarious. He thinks British people are silly. They're silly well, allergic to plants. I'm sure that my current like happiness with the state of hay fever will suddenly disappear. Yeah. Um, I'm sure that like I I'm like, oh yeah, maybe I'm cured. <laughs> maybe it's gone. And then like a couple of months from now I'll be like, kill me, kill me quick. Kill me as in as soon as you can. Uh, it's like it gets to the point where you're like, get inside, shower, shower the plants away. Yeah. The plants off me. <laughs> Burn mm. all of these clothes that are mm. contaminated with plant. <laughs> <laughs> Close uh, that window, but it's hot. No. <laughs> streams are just gonna be like sniffing noises for the entire of summer so i apologize for everyone you'll be mm. streaming <laughs> <laughs> oh no the pumpkin no. madness begins and then your brain turns to mush and liquefies through your nose that is what it feels like yeah i think we're good now maddie oh okay S stop <laughs> <laughs> um uh we don't need to water this stuff today do we no, I don't think it'll do any good. Okay. I guess we can go to bed then. Woo! Oh. I'm going to sell these mushrooms. Do you want to put stuff in the other preserve jar if we've got stuff? Or I don't know if we've got anything. Uh, i got some grape. How much do you need? Yeah, grape. Just one grape. In it goes. The grape would be great. <laughs> Very good. So we yes. need to do some foraging. Um, oh yeah, for our bundle. For the bundle. A little bit of cash. Tide us over. The uh, oh. the seeds didn't really cost us as much as I thought they would. Yeah, we're doing all right. We need to make some money though. Can you, do you need a different type of barn for goats? You need to upgrade your things to be able to have the option of buying them. Right, I see. Same for Fuck ducks. boy, get out of the way of the TV. You have to upgrade. Oh, it's raining. Perfect. Oh, hey, hey. The spirits Quite are neutral, things, we? so we can go mining. Ah, uh, mine are annoyed, but we can still go mining. I think we definitely should go mining. It'll be our last act today. Oh, yeah. Um, well, we might have time for another day after a day in the mines. But, uh, we've made quite a lot of progress. Yeah. I think. Transition to seasons, yeah. yeah. It might not be such a far off dream after all to get to year two. Year two. Yeah. Just the winter was our aim. <laughs> okay, are you headed up to the mine now? I'm just doing the animals first. Oh, okay, cool. Well, if you go north and I'll go east, then we'll cover more, like, uh, foraging ground. Yeah. Uh, just milking bow to get cow cow. <laughs> Laura said, wait, you have different spirits. Yeah. Uh, the fortunes are different. Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, apparently so. We We only realised that today. We've been playing quite a bit. Yeah, I just never look at the telly, possibly because you used to steal the telly. That's true, I did quite often steal your TV, yes. Um, Jody wants refined quartz, well I can handle that tomorrow. Oh, you've walked all the walk. Yeah, uh, I caught well, up. Well, that's the difference of a whole stream. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't know why you've been walking so much more than me. I just do all the grunt work, didn't I? Yeah, I think there was a period of time where I was just having you do all the work. <laughs> I haven't found oh. any forage today. Maybe it's a bit rainy. It's like a weird green tree here. Oh, all the trees are really green here. Why is that? It's, isn't it not just that the, the ground has got browner? They do look they really, greener? really green. I don't know oh, like yeah the pine trees they look super green right time to take my templar's vengeance into the mines <laughs> That's oh right. this sword is so much better oh it just cuts through enemies like butter two slices for a bat like butter 
like butter, mm, like buttery like bats. Buttery enemies. <laughs> buttery bats. <laughs> Ew. See, what? I just heard this. <laughs> I just heard just a whoosh in the background. I just hit the ladder in excitement for there being a ladder. Another diamond. Oh my god. We're doing great, aren't we? We are getting a lot of diamonds. We can just get one of those things that makes the gems. You keep saying this. I don't know what you're talking about. It's a thing and it just copies gems. You put one gem in it and it'll constantly churn out. That seems gems. game breaking. Yeah. <laughs> it's. I think it's a reward from Gunther or one of the b bundles eventually. All right. Uh, it just happened to me at some point, and I was like, well, that's me set for life. I, Laura said even the trunks were green, and oh. I just realised she was talking about the trees, but I was thought she was talking about swimming trunks or something, and I just, <laughs> just gone off on a tangent, you know. <laughs> the chat's having its own chat. Sometimes that happens. Yeah, I, let that I enjoy happen. it. Just let, the, let you all have, a, have your own little chat in chat. You don't need me. I'm just background noise. <laughs> when you describe yourself as background noise on your own stream. <laughs> well, a lot of people like treat streams like that, don't they? They just... True. Just like having something up in the background. I do that quite often. Yeah, it's nice to have someone else around, even though they're not really around. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, dear. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm quite a talkative streamer anyway, even if no one's involved in the chat. Um, I find I do sometimes watch some people who like if no one's talking to them they just don't talk at all and Ooh, that's, yeah. that's no, not about that see I think that's sometimes okay if I'm like if I'm focused on something and I just occasionally want a bit of noise and then like the sort of background sound of someone playing a game but sometimes I do want someone to actually be talking uh, oh, I says, always want someone to be talking <laughs> <laughs> well I'm the perfect streamer because I can't stand silence <laughs> No. Um, There's too much silence. You're like, oh my god, what am I saying? Do something, do something. I just start rambling. Like when I play Hitman on my own and I just start going, <laughs> oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Or like... uh, but it's why I quite like streaming with other people because just being able to have a conversation about something is really, really helps that flow so you don't feel like you're just rambling. Even yeah. if I am rambling, I'm rambling at someone, and that's slightly <laughs> different somehow. Listen to me ramble. <laughs> You're a captive audience. The other people can leave. <laughs> um... Ways to get people to stream with you. <laughs> <laughs> You're a can... captive audience. Other people leave. Yeah, you can oh. never leave. <laughs> Maddie has a crucifix. It does look a bit like you're swinging a crucifix. Oh. Just, just a big old crucifix. In. I am the one with the Templar blade. Um, yeah, mine's a mallet. Hunting or ghosts. Harley Quinn in my mind. I've got Templar's blade. I'll protect you. Oop. I got inches. Loop. Loop. Uh oh. So many bat wings. <laughs> I'm just token swinging it now. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't do anything. Well, we can get you a fancy sword as well. You should break the boxes because I've got shit luck. Yeah, did you? Oh, I've got some combat boots. I'm just dying. Go away. Oh, sorry. I was just equipping some combat boots. Oh, fancy. Mm. Oh, we only have one more level to get to 70. Ooh. Yeah. I wonder if 70's lava level. Yeah, come on. It's got to be. It's only 350. We've got ages left. Did you bring your dinner plate? Oh, no. <laughs> I do have a, a hazelnut I forage, but we've won that for the bundle, so. A master slingshot. Hopefully you'll actually get yours this time. <laughs> Yay! Hooray! My bag is full. That's okay. I'm gonna eat my fancy meal. 
Oh, please, sir. Can I have some food? Um, no, I don't need any food. I, that's fine. <laughs> I have none to give you. We're still in the cold. Uh, it's different cold, though. That means there'll be worse enemies, and it's still cold. Yay! Just what I wanted. You really know how to make me feel good about our situation, Maddie. <laughs> good. <laughs> <laughs> Oh look, there's skeletons. There's actual skeletons now. As Templar, I will fight thee, foul undead. Oh, Maddie, move away. <laughs> <laughs> I usually play with a, an Xbox controller, but I couldn't be bothered to do it, so now I'm just on my touchpad like, I miss my controller! <laughs> I need to get some 360 controllers so I can use them on my Steam Link. I feel like I have quite a few that, for an Xbox, I don't use anymore. I should really dig them out if you want some. Yeah, that'd be good. Because I have what? ex I have Xbox One controllers, but the problem is they don't work Bluetooth to a Steam Link. Uh, oh. the, the only one, the only Xbox One con controllers that work. Oh, there's a ladder straight away. Mm -hmm. um, the only Xbox One controllers that work with like Bluetooth straight out without an adapter are the like hundred dollar Pro ones. Oh. Yeah, so, whereas the Xbox 360 controllers just work straight off the bat. So. Yeah, just plug them into USB. No, not, not even that. I, I, I need them Bluetooth because the Steam Link's on the other side of the room. But oh. um, but the Xbox 360 controllers just work off the bat, whereas the um, the Xbox One controllers you have to plug in. And oh, obviously, like, USB leads are really short, so you'd have to be, like, right up against, face up against the TV if you want to play. Xbox 360 controllers don't use Bluetooth. Okay, well, wh whatever it is they, they use, the the no. proprietary wireless thing or whatever. I don't know, mine's uh, wired, but it's just really fucking long. Like, I could be in bed and stare at the telly and it'd be fine. Oh, that's not bad. Like, well, I have my laptop hooked up and then streaming to the telly. Oh, speaking of Steam Link, uh, the uh, Steam have released their Steam Link app beta. Um, which will allow you to stream games from your um, from your uh, PC to your Android devices. Oh! So you can you can stream, and it's now coming to iOS as well. Yeah, um, which is pretty cool. So if you Very have like a cool. tablet, you can play full res, full power games on your tablet. My health is like, well, basically deaded, and I don't want to eat part of a bundle, so I'm gonna come out the mine. Okay, I I've got plenty of health and stuff and stuff, so I'm gonna just get all this stuff. See if I can push the 75, and then I'll come home. Carry on. You should do it in the Jackbox stream. That was pretty funny. Yeah, I want to. Uh, as usual, uh, coordinating people is is a bit of a nightmare. <laughs> Um, I was supposed to have, I was supposed to do a Factorio stream with Seb and Zoe earlier yeah. this week, and then Seb had an asthma attack. Oh my so, god! Yeah, so he had a fair excuse. Um, Is he okay? Yeah, I think so. I mean, he's not dead, so... <laughs> Otherwise that'd be a terrible story. Yeah. Oh my god, it's really hard to get people to stream with me, I mean... Yeah, they're just they're dying dead. all over the place. Um... <laughs> Your TV, Steltex TV has an has a Steam Link app. I didn't realise it was that ubiquitous. That is cool. Other than that, you have like a crazy future TV, which I wouldn't put it past you, Steltex. That does sound like something you would own. <sighs> I found more combat boots. Oh yay for me! Yeah, I'll I'll clear out my bag a bit so I can carry. Fashion. Uh, don't need to stand. Hey Clint, yeah, but look at our combat boots. So. Forget your cool shoes. We've got our combat boots. Valve uh, pushed it everywhere after they gave up on the Steam Link hardware. But they still do the Steam Link hardware because I've got a Steam Link. It's actually pretty good. Like, it's really not bad. I got it for like 15 quid or something. Um... So, there's a quest on from Haley that says, in capital letters, for girls only. Psst, I need a refined quartz. You know what it's for. Keep it a secret, okay? <laughs> yeah, Maddie, you know what it's for. Um, 
You know what it's for, Maddie. Come on. Um, Come on, Maddie. That is, you... that is a quest. Come that on, Maddie. Quest. You know what it's for. Come on, Maddie. I mean, I've got a level three rod. <laughs> <laughs> Club even. Lead rod. She wants. You know what it's for, Maddie. You oh dear. keep your secrets. <laughs> I wonder if you've got a quest. It'd be like, for boys only. For boys only. Need some quartz. <laughs> you, you know, know what it's, it's for. for. <laughs> I'm you know what that quartz is for. Sell my gems. Ooh, mm. I have enough gold to do a, a bar. A bar Ooh, of gold. I've got, an, I've got a gold ore here as well. What time do we have to be in bed by? Two. Okay. Uh, I put some combat boots in this box. Oh, I've ignored all of this. These crops. Oops. Cool. Yay, combat boots. we got to get to bed. Oh, so cool. oh shit, all right. Yep. <sighs> Laura says, must be for periods, ribbons, or other lady things. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, periods or ribbons? What? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got level four mining. I can transmute into iron, and I got level four combat. I can make oh a warrior gosh, ring. Oh my gosh, you've leveled up. I've leveled nothing. Classic. I've got to put more effort in, and we're going to leave it there because it is now ten o'clock. Um, so we'll save up, um, and we'll head out of the game. Um, that was a good one. I quite enjoyed that. Yeah. We um, we. Uh, Got our way through. Oh, Stu is in the voice chat room with someone else, but not our voice chat room. No, anyway. Oh yeah, uh, I, I I just realised that there were a bunch of them in another chat room. Anyway, um, yeah. So so we finished summer. That was good. We're we're into eight. April or uh, April. autumn. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're into we're into autumn. Um, we made a bunch of money. We upgraded some some tools. Nothing drastically bad happened. I got a Templar sword. We talked about ex-gay therapy and dogs. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that was a good one. Um, yeah. uh, thanks to subscribers and donators, Steltech and Sam. Um, and we'll be back. I will not be back tomorrow. I think in future, I'm probably not really going to be streaming on Fridays anymore because it, it will tend to be the time that Laura can come visit. But... I do intend to do more weekend streams. Well, I say more. Any weekend stream. <laughs> um, uh, I, I'm going to make more of an effort to actually find time to do that. I think Saturday will be the first one for that. The problem with them is that because they don't have a set time, I keep going, I'll do it later. I'll do it later. Oh, it's too late. Um, so, but I, I will try and set a time for Saturday. Well, you have to book in a, a friend stream and then... You've set a time with them and then you have to turn up. Well, that's also true. Well, it, uh, assuming I do do the Saturday stream, which I do intend to, um, it will be uh, Hitman because there's new Hitman content out today. But we were playing Stardew instead. Oh, uh, I've been chosen over Hitman content. You have, yeah. Oh, my gosh. Um, yeah. Well, I, I thought we hadn't done Stardew in a bit. And I, I want to try and do this. I would rather do it once a week, but there's not enough time for that normally. Um, yeah. So... so at the very least, I want to try and do it twice a week. Although you're going away soon, aren't you? First of, uh, the first week of June, I'm not here. The first week of June? Yeah. Uh, it's May right now. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, we got two, we it's got April. Two, we got two weeks to you. <laughs> it's April. Yeah. Well, we made it into April. Um, oh, okay, cool. Well, maybe we've got two that more. Time. Two, maybe we've got two more Stardew streams than us. Maybe even more before you go away. And I'm and only then... going for a week. <laughs> yeah, I, I know. I'm I know. like, I've gone forever, and Stardew was gone because Maddie <laughs> went away on conference. All of the crops have died. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, um, I'll, I'll, I'll be back on Saturday. I'm, I'm okay. saying that sure. I've been quite sure about that, um, and then um, and then uh, Tuesday is normal. Um, we'll be doing some multiplayer stuff and shit like that. Maybe I'll try and organise another Jackbox stream for next week and some more Stardew. 
<sighs> Thanks for watching. We'll, <laughs> we'll see you later. Bye. Bye, guys.